What's up guys, welcome to Lativa's Python tutorial. In this video, we are going to talk about sort and we will introduce how does bubble sort work. First, we set a data list and the number are 10, 1, 80, and 71, and 31. And the structure of bubble sort is a nasty for loop. So the other reason start to compare the each tier number in the first time for loop outside. And in the first time for loop inside, it compares the tier 1 number 10 and tier 2 number 1. And it knows the number 10 is bigger than number 1. So it changed the priority to 1 and 10. And in the second time for loop inside, it knows the tier 2 number 10 is smaller than tier 3 number 80. So it doesn't need to change the priority. And in the third time for loop inside, it changed the priority. And so does the fourth time. Alright, let's go on and take a look the second time for loop outside. Because in the last time for loop outside, the last tier number 80 has been sorted. So it just need to sort the tier 1 number to tier 4 number. And also in the second time for loop outside, the data list has already been sorted. But the other reason to still continue to work until the fourth time for loop outside. In the end, after the fourth time for loop outside, we get a new data list. And the value are 1, 10, 31, 71, and 80. It is a little bit of complexity, right? But never mind. Let's demonstrate it and you will understand it more. Well, first, we define the bubble sort function with the parameter list. And we set the length equals length function list. And we set a nasty for loop of bubble sort algorithm for i in range length minus one for z in range length minus one and minus i. And if list z bigger than list z plus 1 and, and it will change the priority list z list z plus 1 equals list z plus 1 and list z and we set a new list equals list and return list all right we set a data list equals 10 1 18 71 and 31 and we print source data data and print outcome of sort and we call the bubble sort function with the argument data and we execute it. All right, you can see it shows the source data is 10, 1, 18, 71, and 31. And the outcome of sort is 1, 10, 31, 71, and 80. All right, let's go on and take a look. 
we copy this code to here and we are going to add some codes to know how the algorithm of bubble sort work in detail we just add print here print the number time for sort outside i plus one and add here the number of time for sort inside and say plus one and list execute it right in here you can see how the algorithm of bubble so work in detail by the nested for loop and then we copy this call to here or we can sort the data list just by the simple python sorted function we set a new list equals sorted of data and change it to new list and execute it all right you can see the outcome of sort is the same Today we have talked about how the algorithm of bubble sort work. If you like this video, please give thumbs up, share this video and subscribe. See you next time.